Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and today let's talk about new flight controller from Matek. What I have over here is the brand new flight controller from Matek that is called F405 Wing uh, Target F405 SE. What's so special? I did a preliminary video about this flight controller in the news section a few weeks ago and uh, this noisy anti-static weeks ago and the special thing about this flight controller is that it's designed especially for aeroplanes maybe not even the flying wings because it might be slightly overkill to put it on a flying wing with only two servos used but on the bigger aeroplanes um i know what i said and still i will put it on uh, my flying wing, my experimental wing, um, or maybe even two, let's see. What's so special? It's bigger than the regular flight controller. Wait a second, let me find something to compare. Where are all my flight controllers when needed? Oh, okay. It's bigger than 36 by 36 millimeters, of course. It has a huge number of connectors right here, huge number of connectors right here. There's a small power distribution board. The bottom side is completely flat so you can glue it to something with adhesive tape or, or whatever. If you really want, and uh, I won't because all my airplanes are kind of prepared to use the multi-rotor flight controllers you can start removing stuff because you can get rid of the bottom plate and the top plate as well okay okay this is just just a piece of pcb um there is a oh this can be removed as well nice one okay i will i will skip the bottom part the Mounting holes are 30 and a half millimeters apart, so you can mount it however you want. There is a 405, yes, STM F405 CPU on that thing, OSD. And just look at the size of this, this thing. This thing, according to the specification, has a, a 5 ampere max 6 ampere, a special dedicated voltage regulator only for servos. So you don't need a independent voltage regulator to power your servos. On top of that, there is 3.3 BEC, okay, 5 volt, another 5 volt with max of 3 amps and 9 volt with 2 amps max. 12 volt options to power your FPV equipment. Really a lot of power regulation on such a small board. Um, let me also disassemble the bottom part. Okay. This one can go, this one can go, this one can go, and this one as well. Oh, you see, there is an integrated um dampening using those uh, rubber standoffs i'm not 100 percent sure i like it but but whatever and this board more or less has absolutely everything required to power and steer any airplane besides the vtx and the radio receiver and the camera and stuff like that because uh, it takes power from from 3 to 6s just solder connector on the wire and the but put the battery there's a pdb that allows you to output for two motors why do you need more motors on the airplane no idea huge huge voltage regulator osd powerful cpu how many words are there? It says six. Six serial ports. You can connect whatever, however you want. There is possibility to regulate the voltage. So you can also use uh, high voltage servos if you really want. 
there is a SD card slot and what? Ah, I'm not really sure. Anyhow, oh, and and this thing. I already told you about this before. You just plug it like this. You don't need to find for the room inside your airplane to plug it from the side because everything is just over here. Build quality. If we want to talk about the build quality, build quality is more or less like on every other Matek board. High. No, really, honestly, this is you cannot even compare the, the PCB quality and the solder mask and, and everything and the soldering of the elements to, for example, Banggood uh, clones. Completely, absolutely different story with Matek. This is all maybe not high quality, but very good quality uh, build of the flight controller. Oh, and the current sensing unit also. Yeah, I like this. More or less everything. Oh, and the barrel and something else, something else, full suit that you will ever need in the airplane. I had an um, idea to maybe finish this, 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 my, one of my airplanes conversion this week and fly this on the weekend. But unfortunately, instead of that, I had to do something completely else. So I failed. So hopefully next weekend or but that will be short week in part. Okay, never mind. Um, and what? I'm really, really fairly optimistic about this. I really hope it will be awesome, really awesome, awesome, awesome flight controller. But like I said, I did not put it on anything yet. If you want to buy one of those, um, probably you still have to wait for for the supply because this is one of the pre-production no this is one of the first production uh, samples i got from matek mm. what else and and that's all for today it's not a review yet because i was not able to review it's more like a, to show you the idea how manufacturers are really approaching the problem of airplaners. The, I was saying this for a few times. The world does not end on the mini quads. Airplanes are there with GPS, with stabilization, and manufacturers really are realizing that. And this kind of crap, yeah, it's a good, it's a really good way around. That's all for today. I will record another video when only I will finish the build with this flight controller. And then, and then maybe we will be able to call it a real review. Until the next one, so bye bye.